Hello, my name is uh, John Tinham. We're here to talk to, to you today about a vehicle that gave us a few challenges. It was a 2010 Citroen Berlingo diesel, engine code 9HT. The vehicle was involved in an accident whilst waiting recovery, was actually stolen and then was then recovered by the body shop and towed to us as a non-starter. We started by carrying out a global scan of all the ECUs on the car. This revealed to us that we've got no communications with the engine ECU, we've got no communications with the ABS ECU and a network fault. So from this we checked, physically checked the wiring, for chafing etc and all the multi-plugs were connected. The vehicle itself has been repaired to quite a high standard so we wasn't really expecting much there. We then checked the powers, grounds and ignition fed lives to the ABS ECU. The next stage in our investigation was to put an oscilloscope on the CAN network from the BSI to the ABS module. The first waveform that we've got here shows the CAN lines and the BSI to the ABS module and you can see here from the high and the low CAN that communications at the BSI are okay. Next test we carried out between ABS and engine controllers and as you can see from the waveform the high and the low speed CAN the communication between the two is fine. Final test we carried out on the CAN network was again between BSI and ABS but this time measured at the ABS multiplug and here we can see the high CAN was fine but the low CAN had li little or no activity on it. This indicated to us that we've got a break in the low CAN wire somewhere near to the ABS ECU. Further investigation showed us that we've got a broken low CAN wire close to the ABS ECU as you can see from the image. As this was an insurance job, we were asked to repair the wiring loom as opposed to replace it. We carried out the repair and the vehicle started and run fine. We found that by testing in this manner helped us to accurately pinpoint where the brake was. In fact, it was within two foot of the ABS controller. This also avoided unnecessary and costly replacement of parts such as the ABS controller. 